Farm Guy here with a new mod for Farming Simulator 22. And this is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 on Fox Farm for this uh, demonstration. And this is the Tchaikovsky ST Strip Till by Sid Modding and JHHG Modding. 25.78 megabytes to download for this pack. Comes with three, um, I'm gonna call them fertilizer, seeders, cultivators. 19 slots each there, as I said, there are three of them. But they come in several configurations and uh, before I go any further, in order to use this as part of a cedar configuration, you will need another mod that was released separately on the same day. And that mod is also by Sid Modding and JHHG Modding, and it's Chazowski Tchaikovsky PS Cedar Attachment, which we will show in a moment, <clears throat> but I will have a separate uh, video on those uh, on that particular mod it is a bit strange that they are they were released separately because you can't use this as a cedar if you don't have that attachment but you can use this as a standalone a piece of equipment however I don't think you can use the other one as a standalone piece of equipment anyways it's a bit of a conundrum a bit of a curious a curiosity for me however Without further talking, we will get into where you will find these, and this will all, these will all be found under cedars. And here it is, the Tchaikovsky ST Strip Till. We have three of them. We have um, <clears throat> the ST300, ST450, and ST600. Uh, they all have they all are different widths. <clears throat> However, some of them have. Uh, a variable width that we will have to talk about and that you will need to be aware of. Um, right, so let's look at the first one. $103,300. Dollars, 200 horsepower required, up to 49,000 liter capacity. 3 meters or 2.7 to 3 meters, which we'll talk about 11 miles per hour. Right, so we have a configuration of dry fertilizer. We have dry fertilizer and seeds, <clears throat> which splits the capacity. Then we have an extension to the dry fertilizer and dry fertilizer seeds. So that's where the 39 to 49,000 liter capacity comes in. We also have uh, additional lights, beacon or war, uh, back work lights, or both PTO yes or no and then here are some options that'll change the width we have six rows 18 inches four rows 30 inch spacing or eight rows 15 so that's where the eight rows the four rows and six rows do not really change the width uh, much However, we have the eight row, which will give it the three and a half meter width. This is important later when you're trying to match it up with the cedar. The SD450 has all, well, aside from the horsepower requirement and the width, everything else is the same. We have the dry fertilizer, dry fertilizer seeds, extension, and uh, it, with both seeds so 49,000 liters <clears throat> lights PTO also has six row or 12 rows so these only have the two choices six row is the four meter or is it the four and a half and the 12 row is the five I believe four and a half it says four and a half four and a half oh, okay that one even though there is mm. see these are all so confusing i hope so i don't even yeah well this one doesn't have a different width even though it looks like it does have a different width and if we match it up to well we'll talk about that later this one definitely has two sizes 
as you can see down the bottom right 5.4 or 6 meter everything else is the same it's that the horsepower requirement is up to 360 horsepower whoops there we go uh, again we have the 39 or 49,000 or 4900 liter capacity for seed or fertilizer if you configure the seed and fertilizer uh, that is where you'll have to use the uh, back attachment everything else is the same except uh, and then we have the 8 row or 12 row or 16 row the 8 and 12 row is at your 6 or 5.4 meters the 16 row is at your 6 meters if that isn't confusing enough just wait <clears throat> right so as a cultivator fertilizer let's hop in um, there is a unfold you must unfold them and uh, we will show you well let's show you that let's talk about this before I demonstrate them because they all work exactly the same really they do as a fertilizer <clears throat> now this one I have as fertilizing on and seeds both and you'll see that when I hook it up that is your amounts for the 3900 liter capacity 1960 liters of seeds and 2940 liters of fertilizer L1 and X unfolds it it is quite a process yes it's unfolding there it is it is slow very slow to unfold so just when you think did I press the button yes you did press the button it takes um, it takes a minute for it to all unfold <clears throat> excuse me I have to I have to continuously clear my throat and I don't want to hear that um, right so now it is fully unfolded and the features of this particular front piece are as follows you can turn it on uh, oh, it's still unfolding really yes all these little tines down here have to fold down and there's the last one I will show it to you those little lower tines down there they all fold down one at a time so it takes forever for it to unfold uh, if there's anything I want to give this a minus for it is how slow it unfolds I know in reality it probably takes much longer than this to actually unfold the actual real life piece of equipment just that this yeah I understand I understand I just I just don't like waiting all right <clears throat> enough complaining L1 and you can turn it on L1 and turn it on and that will activate the um, the fertilization aspect of this now you don't have to have it turned on for you to use it it is you can use it just as a cultivator and as I will show you here you can pull forward and it will make a really nice cultivated I bet I believe if we take a look at our turn those off yes it will create a seed bed a cultivated seed bed now it will also uh, if uh, if we lift it up here and we just uh, go zip over to our other field here if you bear with me for a moment I will demonstrate that it will remove <clears throat> the uh, needs plowing state if you have plowing turned on because it is actually a plow in uh, in in all practical respects and as we turn it on here and move forward notice it is a deep cultivator and if we come up here yeah it leaves a seed bed but it also removes the needs plowing so it is really a multi-use piece of equipment uh, just like the smaller one that released also today I do have a separate video on that 
but let's zip on back over here uh, we do have the open top like that and it has a very nice animation for opening the top L1 and left on your d-pad will close it again now those of you who have watched the uh, the other video my previous video on the smaller uh, smaller version of these uh, they are virtually identical in most ways except these are slightly bigger and uh, well, there is a there is these attachments for the uh, other mod separate mod uh, that we will talk about in a moment and show you briefly there will be another video concerning just this attachment because it is a separate mod now there is one more thing this can do l1 and triangle you can allow it to create fields so it really truly is or can be an all-in-one you can go to a fresh piece of land um, like say for instance this <clears throat> You can create fields, create a seed bed, fertilize it, and then with this uh, other attachment, you can plant a crop. <laughs> so, uh, it is uh, quite an amazing piece of equipment, as a matter of fact. However, if you're using workers, I would recommend making sure that the allow create fields is turned off. Otherwise, they go on a bit of a rampage and they make a massive mess of your owned property um right so we do have uh an adjustment l1 and r1 and right stick up and down and that you can uh let me see if i can show it here you move those inner wheels up or down so you can slightly adjust those wheels uh does it um do much I, i'm not sure how much it actually does but it does move right so very plainly um said all the others all the other sizes do exactly that all these others do exactly as i just showed you they are just different sizes with different configurations on the tines so we have two of them here are the medium sized we have the large one here and if we get in uh it you can hire a worker the worker will gladly go ahead and he will uh cultivate and apply the fertilizer very happily if you don't have fertilizer in there you can also just use it as a uh, cultivation tool so it is uh, as i said multi-purpose right so if you just have the fertilizer configuration let's get our field info on here so we can see this one just has a fertilizer you will not be able to hook this up to anything if it's just in the fertilizer configuration <clears throat> i'm sorry if i'm a little bit uh, all over the place with my explanation here there's a lot to say about it and i don't have a really good way of doing it in a more of a logical manner right so we have shown you the small medium and large ones we're going to concentrate on the large version because all the others are very much the same let's talk about the attachment that comes in a separate mod those are also fine as you may have noticed right beside these and here we go we have three corresponding sizes to the three sizes the st 300 450 and 600 we have the PS300, PS450, and the PS600, <clears throat> right? So notice when we went into the SD300, we have the six row, 18 inch, four row, 30 inch, and eight row, 15 inch, right? We have those three sizes. When you go over into here, we have the eight row, six row, uh, six row and eight row. Notice how the, the width changes. That is very important when picking picking this <clears throat> to correspond. When you're choosing which one of these you, you need to buy, 
when you have one of these and you must match the uh, width of the cultivator with the width of the cedar. As an example, I have the what look what you can see here as the wider one and a narrower one here, which also corresponds to the narrower one here, the six or five point four meter as opposed to this one, which we haven't unfolded yet, and which I will do that right now, <clears throat> because it takes a minute. Let's go attach this other one. Now remember, if you have uh, only fertilizer, notice I have fertilizer and seeds in this one, because that is the configuration I chose. That is the only configuration in which it will attach to this other piece of equipment, as I showed here. And if I highlight that and unfold it, it will unfold like thus. I will just show you a brief uh, demonstration of how it all works together. So uh, you can turn on, well, if you turn on the, the, the fertilizer, everything turns on. And if you lower it, you can lower the front part and only do that. So you have to go to the rear section and lower the seed section as well. Let's turn it off for a moment because we can choose by L1 and triangle. We can scroll through the different types of seed uh, plants you want to plant. Let's go with uh, barley. And now if you turn it on, it uh, doesn't matter which one you turn on, they all turn on together. And as we pull forward, we are cultivating, fertilizing, seeding uh, all at one time at 11 miles per hour at 6 meters wide. Now, it is quite a large contraption. A worker will uh, operate it, as you can see here. Now, notice... Notice that everything matches up nicely. Our cultivation width and our seeding width all match. Now that is important because you can attach the other one uh, and he's gonna stop, yes. He's, let's watch him turn around because there was a issue with some of the others because of how long it is and if you have a very small separation of fields sometimes they don't uh, yeah it's might yeah they do this because they think they've done yeah so if you're using this, it is so long that if you have a very small separation of your field to one of your other fields, it's going to make a mess in another field, and it's not going to it's not going to work properly. Let's just say. Let's scroll. Here we go. We have finally unfolded. Now this is the six meter variation. And we have matched it with the larger six meter variation of the attachment. And once you do that, you can back up and attach it. There we go, unfold it. As we move forward, we can wait till it unfolds because that one actually unfolds kind of slowly as well. Lower it. Turn it on, lower the uh, the rear section, and there we are. Now we're going, uh, this is actually 6 meters. The other one was 5.4 meters. My uh, mistake if I said that. And as you can see here, everything matches up nicely. Very nice. Now, just uh, as a wrap-up, I think I've... Well, should have explained everything mostly I hope hopefully anyways uh, I will show you that they will fit on each other as we reach the end here I'm not going to make the worker turn around 
it is quite a heavy large piece of equipment too for only a six meter cedar uh, contraption but it is very interesting now let's drop that off and move over here and we're gonna swap the cedars to show you kind of well to show you exactly what happens <laughs> when you do that and you have the wrong sized uh, piece of equipment attached to the rear now I do believe I do believe that um, having a wider piece on the back is preferable to having uh, the piece that is too narrow and uh, let, see if we can demonstrate that here on a fresh piece of ground and let's just lower that and lower that turn them all on and as we go forward uh, I don't know if you can see that but our front is cultivating just a slightly uh, smaller area than what our cedar can cover so we're actually not utilizing fully the width of the cedar which is not a too big of a deal in that respect because we're not really missing anything we're just kind of not making full use of the cedar attachment however if you get it wrong the other way come on hook up there we go let's get a fresh piece of dirt here so you can see And as we move forward and the cedar comes up behind us there is well you get uh, you get the idea it's gonna miss spots I'm not actually on a straight let's let's get the worker going straight because uh, he will straighten it out here and go a nice proper straight line and uh, you can actually kind of see it from up here there we go well in this case it seems to be doing the same job although it's missing a bit here so yeah um I would just yeah so you can see here it's it's kind of it's showing that it's missing but not here it's a little bit tricky anyways uh, it doesn't take much to match them I would still recommend matching the sizes just to be safe whether or not it actually makes a difference I think it does but it is what it is uh, hopefully that has explained or answered some of your questions about this particular mod and that is the Tchaikovsky ST strip till by Sid modding and JHHG modding uh, recommended that you use the other mod that also came out uh, today with this if you want to use it as a cedar as well uh, thank you all for watching I'm Lonely Farm Guy and remember it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.